Hi, this is question 2 from the Statistics 1 June 2015 exam paper. Um, in this question we've got a table that summarises the diameters of a random sample of 60 new cricket balls to be used in junior cricket. Um, so we've got the data here in this grouped frequency table. And part A requires us to calculate estimates of the mean and the variance of these 60 diameters. So we're estimating the mean because we don't know the actual diameter. Um, we just know that it's between 65 and 66 in this first case. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, I'm going to estimate um, a sensible value um, for the diameter of the ball here. And I do that by taking the midpoint of this value. So instead of 65 to 66, we're going to use 65.5 and then here we're going to have 66.5 we're just taking the midpoint of each one 68.5 69.5 and 71.5 ok and um, to work out the mean now I'm going to do 65.5 times 5, 66.5 times 9, um, etc. and then sum all those together. Um, now there is an easy way, I can use my calculator that's going to calculate the mean for me and I'll also use it to work out the variance as well. So if I grab my calculator, now I need to go into stats mode here. So I'm going to press mode and to, to put me into stats mode and we want this first option here which is going to be our variance option so if I press number one now that gives me a um, opportunity to put values into a table however I want a frequency table so um, I'm now going to go to shift and setup and if we scroll down to the second menu here okay so I just shifted down there and I want number three which is stat and that's going to allow me to switch on the frequency mode so I'm just going to switch that on okay so now I can put in my values of um, the diameter of the cricket balls and then in the second column I can put the frequencies so I'm just going to stick these values in so we've got 65.5 66.5 and I'll fill in the frequency afterwards 67.5 okay so um, those are going to be my diameters and over here I can now put in my frequency so I've got 5, 9, 12, 15, 5, 9, 12, 15, 10, 17 okay so I've now input my data so I now want to do a statistical calculation so I'm going to use my stat calculation button here so shift and stat and um, we are doing number five here and our mean is going to be given by this x bar over here so that's going to be number two and that tells me that the mean of my cricket balls um, diameters is going to be 68.25 so just having a look at these values here that seems like it's going to be sensible 68.25 looks like it's going to be a sensible answer so I'm happy with that so I'm going to say over here my mean is equal to 68.25 centimeters okay and um, to work out the variance I'm going to um, bring up my stat menu again and choose number 5 and we want 
option number three this time which is going to give me my value of sigma which is um, my standard deviation and I want to square that value for the variance and that gives me 2.42 for my variance going to be equal to 2.42 okay part B says um, David a retired professional cricketer requests that the values calculated in part A are expressed in inches rather than in millimeters given that one inch is equivalent to approximately 25.4 millimeters calculate new values for the mean and the variance in response to David's request okay so to change the mean um, and I've just realized I've got the units wrong in my question here. that should have been millimeters I beg your pardon so um, to change my mean into inches I need to do 68.25 divided by 25.4 um, and that will tell me how many inches um, my average cricket board is going to be so let's just do a quick calculation there. We've got 68.25 divided by 25.4. And that gives me 2.69 inches. So, um, so my mean, oops, mean going to be equal to 68.25 divided by 25.4 which is equal to um, 2.69 inches okay um, now for the variance well if we think back to what we did um, to work out the variance we did the standard deviation squared so our standard deviation would have been in cent in millimeters, sorry. And so what we need to do is we need to do 2.42. So to work out the variance, we need to do 2.42 divided by, and we need to divide it by 25.4 squared. okay so um, that's going to give us 2.42 divided by 25.4 squared and that gives us to three significant figures 0 0.00375 okay and that's it um, thank you very much for joining me I'll see you next time